I am Anil Kumar. Let us see how to solve some rational equations. To begin with, I have taken four examples here. I would like you to pause the video, copy these questions, answer, and then look into my suggestions. The very first one is 6 over x minus 4 equals to 3 over 8. Now to solve really means to find the value of x. Now once you get this kind of an equation, you should know that x should not be equal to 4, right? Now let us see how to solve it. We have 6 over x minus 4 equals to 3 over 8. First step is cross multiply, right? So that is our first step. We will cross multiply. Once you do that, you get 6 times 8 as 48. So let me rewrite this as 6 times 8 equals to 3 times x minus 4. Now that gives you a linear equation. 48 equals to, you could divide by 3 actually and simplify it further. But let me this time just multiply. We are working with bigger numbers than required. So we need to find what x is. So we'll isolate x. We have 3x equals to 48 plus 12. That gives you 3x equals to 60 or x equal to 60 over 3, which is x equals to 20. So x equals to 20 is the solution of part A, right? So we've done part A. Now let's take up part B. Slightly more complicated equation. It is x over x minus 2 plus 2 over 3 equals to 2 over x minus 2. Now we need to look into the common denominator. It is 3 times x minus 2. So we'll multiply each term by this denominator, right? So, so basically, we have this equation x over x minus 2. We'll multiply this by 3 times x minus 2. Then we have 2 over 3. We'll again multiply this by 3 times x minus 2 equals to 2 over x minus 2. We'll multiply this also by 3 times x minus 2, correct? So the idea is to get rid of fractions, the denominator part. So with this, x minus 2, x minus 2 cancels. Here 3, 3 cancels. And this x minus 2 cancels with x minus 2. Correct? So this step involves get rid of denominator. So we have a linear equation, correct? That is much simpler to solve. So 3 times x is 3x. Then we have 2 times x minus 2. Let me rewrite this. 2 times x minus 2 equals to 2 times 3, which is 6. So that's a linear equation. 3x plus 2x minus 4 equals to 6. Taking 4 to that side, 3x plus 2x, let me rewrite equals to 6 plus 4. So that gives you 5x equals to 10 or x is equals to 10 over 5 which is 2. Now in this particular case we get x equals to 10 over 5 which is 2. You will note that we cannot really get 2 as our answer. So it is important to see here that in the given equation x is not equal to 2. Now the solution which we get is x equals to 2, so, so which is not a valid solution. Therefore, the answer is no solution. So this equation does not have any solution. It is very important to understand that whenever you solve rational equations, you could get extraneous roots, right? So, 
So this is extraneous rule. So I hope this step is absolutely clear, right? Now let's move on and take up the next question. Next question is 5 over x square minus 3x plus 2 equals to 1 over 3x minus 3 plus 1 over x minus 2. Let us factor denominator. So what we get here is 5 over, we are looking for a product of 2, sum of minus 3. That gives us x minus 2 times x minus 1, correct? On the right side, we could factor 3. We get 3 times x minus 1. And here we have 1 over x minus 2. Now from here, it is very clear that x should not be equal to 1 or 2. So these two values are not valid. If you get one of those as your answer, remember that answer is not valid. Now again, to simplify, we are going to multiply all the numerators, all the expressions with the term 3 times x minus 2 times x minus 1, correct? So if you do that, what do you get? Here you get 3 times 5 equals to 1 time the factor which is missing is x minus 2, so we get x minus 2. And then here we get 3 times x minus 1. So this is when you multiply each term by 3 times x minus 2 times x minus 1. So the equation now becomes 15 equal to x plus 3x, which is 4x, minus 2 minus 3, which is minus 5. Correct? Bringing 5 to the left side, we get 15 plus 5 equals to 4x or 20 equals to 4x and dividing by 4 we get x equals to 5. Now x equals to 5 is not a restriction so we do have answer here which is x equals to 5. You would actually substitute and check your answer right so you could do that. Now here is the fourth question of this list. We have 3 plus 1 over x equals to 10 over x squared. Restriction is that x is not equal to 0. Now in this particular case, let us multiply everything by x squared, right? So times x squared each term. Then what we get here is 3x squared plus x equals to 10. Now that is again a quadratic equation. We could bring all the terms together and solve. 3 times minus 10 is minus 30. So product of two numbers should be minus 30. And sum of two numbers should be 1. Uh, we could work with 6 and 5, where 5 is negative. So splitting x into 6 and minus 5, we get 3x squared plus 6x minus 5x minus 10 equals to 0. Now we could factor 3x, we get x plus 2. Here we could factor 5, getting x plus 2 equals to 0. Now x plus 2 is a common factor. We are left with 3x minus 5 equals to 0. Now this equation is true when x equals to 2 or when x equals to 5 over 3. Now these are not the restrictions and so we do get our answer and the answer is x equals to 2 or 5 over 3. Okay, So that is how you can solve these equations. I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. Remember, at times we can get extraneous roots. So you need to check that the solution is not part of restriction. Thanks for watching and all the best.